Antti Bury was on pole position for the first of three races at Brands Hatch, rounds 10, 11 and 12 of the Dunlop MSA Formula 4 Championship of Great Britain. As the lights went out for race one, he bolted away from pole position to head the pack. Duratech Championship leader Fabian Welter stalled and was slow away. A burnt-out clutch put Eric Lichtenstein out of the race on the very first lap. One of Hawthorne's contact, not for the first time this year, put Fred Martin Dye and Ryan Cullen into the gravel and out of the race. The concurrent Dutch Championship round lost Michel Flory into the gravel at Stirlings. He lost places but carried on as Jake Cook looked for a way past Luke Williams coming over the start and finish line until Jake Cook had a throttle cable snap. The car also a bit oily and he was going no further. In the Duratec battle, Fabian Welter versus Matt Rao, a pair of them almost overlapping as they came across the line. Gavin Halls in his first outing in the championship spun at Druids. Falco Vauer, the Formula 4 championship leader, spun at Sterlings. James Hammond went off the road at Sheen Curve. Antti Bury had a comfortable race lead until Graham Hill banned on the last lap when he made a mistake at round wide and that put Luke Williams right onto his tail. The two were almost touching wheels as they headed down towards Hawthorne. Williams made a dive on the inside, but Bury was just able to hang on to him. Through Sterling's on the last lap, Bury led, and then Williams made a mistake. He bounced out wide through the gravel, and although he hung on to second place, he was a distant second as Bury took the victory. The Finn was on pole position for the second race of the weekend. With him at the front of the grid was Luke Williams, but third on the grid, Eric Lichtenstein had a problem. Once again, it surrounded the clutch. Lichtenstein was able to take the start of the race despite the dramas and made a decent getaway. So too did Jake Cook who tried to challenge him on the way up towards Paddock, but it was Antti Bury who led the pack as they turned through the right-hander. Behind him was Williams, Lichtenstein was third, and going wide at turn one was Jos Kiekens, another of the quick Dutch drivers. A big accident for Oli Ray put him out of the race early on and meant that he couldn't take part in race three, his broken car beyond repair for the weekend. More dramas, this time Bart Van Os, the Dutch championship leader, slithering out wide through the gravel, coming through Sheen Curve and losing the class lead. Then he went off into the barriers coming out of Westfield and that was an early end to the second race of the weekend for the Dutch championship leader. On track, Lichtenstein was busy battling with teammate Luke Williams, the pair of them nose to tail, arguing over second place as they came up towards Sterling's. With a damaged nose cone, Williams hung on on the inside line at Clark Curve to gain the place, but then spun coming through the corner and went off into the gravel. He gained the place at the last fraction of a second, but he braked too late and lost the back of the car. He wasn't the only one in trouble either, as there was contact between Gavin Halls and Alex Drabble. The net result was that both of them were out with broken rear suspension after a big whack going through Surtees. Antti Bury came through for victory. He was trying to do what he'd done at Rockingham and win three out of three, whilst Jos Keekens was the man to beat this time around in the Dutch race. He was the first Durotech driver home, looking very strong, making a rare Brands Hatch visit. Looking for an eighth win of the season, it was Bury on pole position as the third race got underway. Once again, the flying Finn led on the way up towards Paddock Hill Bend. He turned through ahead of Eric Lichtenstein with Jake Cook in third spot. But behind him, it was going to be one of those very dramatic races. It all kicked off on the first lap up at Druids as Ryan Cullen, break too late, ran out of road and slithered off into the gravel bed. It was all self-induced and Cullen, who'd retired from the previous two races of the weekend, was out of the third as well. Then there was contact between George Blundell and James Hammond. Blundell off into the tyres, Hammond spinning to the other side of the road, coming out of Druids they tried to sort themselves out. Luke Williams was working his way up through the order. He challenged Julio Moreno going into paddock. He made the move on the outside. He got his nose in front and took the place, but then ran out of road. He bounced wide over the curb, through the gravel. Moreno got ahead of him and back past him as well was Kevin Corcoran. Then Jake Cook was in strife, coming through Sheen Curve as he ran wide onto the grass, through the gravel, spun it around, stalled the engine. He fired it up, found first gear, but lost a further four places as cars came streaming past him. Up at Druids, there was contact between Williams and Moreno, a little nudge forcing Moreno wide and damaging the nose cone on Williams' car. At Surtees, Abdul Ahmed and Alex Drabble got themselves together, and it was Drabble that spun, going backwards onto the grass. Then, Fred Martin Dye, Luke Williams, Kevin Corcoran, as one over the line. Williams touched the back of Martin Dye and lost his nose cone, 
and came out into the path of Corcoran, who used him as a ramp and flew off into the tar barrier. It did damage to the barriers, it did more damage to Corcoran's car, but undaunted, Williams continued. Martin Dye, distracted by having somebody else's bodywork lodged under the back of his car, was ahead going to Westfield. Williams pushed on to the inside, but he wasn't fully alongside as Martin Dye turned through the corner. There was contact, they both went off, although amazing that Luke Williams survived and he'd be fourth by flag four. Jake Cook was attacking Julio Moreno on the run up towards Druids. He tried to go for the outside line, which he did. He turned in, but he lost the back of the car. It was another spin for Cook, and as he recovered, Luke Williams got past him. For win, number eight of the year, though. Andy Burry came across the line ahead of Eric Lichtenstein. The second perfect weekend, having dominated all three races at Rockingham, it was the same story at Brands Hatch. As in the Juratech class, Bart Van Os came through ahead of Jos Kiekens, the pair of them, the top two as well, in the Dutch Championship. For Antti Burry, he's now clear by well over 100 points from Jake Cook with Julio Moreno up to third. Kevin Corcoran is now fourth ahead of Luke Williams with Fred Martin Dye not finishing race one, falling down to sixth in the EcoBoost class. Fabian Welfer remains the man to beat in the Juratex. He may not have beaten the Dutch on track this weekend, but in the British Championship, he keeps scoring points and he's ahead of Matt Rao. George Blundell is third. Oli Ray, having not taken part in race three, is fourth ahead of Alex Drabble and Abdel Ahmed, with the next stop for the British Championship, Spa in Belgium.